Let me start by prefacing this video uh, by saying that this video should actually have been half the length, if not way less than that. Um, there's shit that happens, shit that you definitely don't look into when you are planning out a, uh, a theme team. Um, oftentimes you will just try to go for what works in the theme as opposed to what actually can function in a healthy metagame. Uh, with that in mind, I don't have a check for Azumarill, and this is a problem. So, he's actually gonna go ahead and lead out with it. And this is a problem because I don't have anything that can reliably switch in on it, uh, if it decides to set up. Which, you know what? This game, for whatever reason, in Generation 6 designs... It just, it's, it rewards people for doing that on turn one because you can just belly drum and just citrus berry when somebody's got this situation going on. And I don't, if you look at my team, like I can maybe switch in Latias on Aqua Jet and not do a lot with Psy Shock in return. My best play there was probably bullet punching to get damage off. But, but, but who, who does that on the first turn? Who just immediately zero to 100? And I thought I was going to be able to take that because I'm a scissor, but I guess natural bulk really doesn't save me there. So that's basically it. I mean, he belly drums and he just, you know, I'm, I'm slower than this thing. So I'm banking on the fact that he might aqua jet here, but to be real, he doesn't, especially if he knows that he's faster. Um, and if he doesn't think I'm running, you know, the agility set or anything like that. But I mean, that's it. That's, that's the fucking game. Like he just belly drummed. And just swept my entire team. I'm just kidding. No, he doesn't. He fucking misses the play rough. After those three stone edges I missed in that last game, do you think I deserve something like that? Truthfully, no. That's not how the universe works. The universe will just perpetually shit in your Fruit Loops in the morning and decide, hey, you know what? If you want to get lead swept by Belly Drum as you marrow, you can. That's fine. But it was dealing out hacks to everybody, not just me. So... I don't feel bad that the game could keep going from there because he missed a 10% accurate move. I missed three ice cold crashes the other day. I deserve a little bit of the end of the other side of that state. So that's fine. Um, right here, he just randomly decides to destiny bond instead of, you know, focus blasting or sludge waving for that matter. I mean, I guess he just really wanted to get rid of my Zangus. That's fine, because now he just loses a resistance to Scarf Terrakion's close combat, uh, Earthquake. I know I can keep Terrakion on the back. Um, it's just easier. Like, Terrakion does way more work on his team than Zangus does, so that's fine. Um, I'm actually going to bring in my Arcanine right now, uh, seeing as, you know, how it's the best matchup. And he just decided to switch out, just 100%, and that's fine. That's fine by me. I really don't mind. Uh, right here, my initial impulse was to go for the close combat. Uh, but I just decided to go for the Flare Blitz because I don't want the defense drops. I definitely should have gone for the Close Combat because I would have done a little bit more damage and maybe have been able to take him out with an Extreme Speed uh, immediately after. Uh, I get a lot of recoil here between Flare Blitz, Rough Skin, and Life Orb, so I'm not a fan of that. But look at that. Like, that, Close Combat would have done around that much. Um, I guess I was just kind of scared. I, I don't know why I was scared. Um, he, he lost his Gengar in the first place, too. I was visibly rattled by that first turn because jesus christ jesus christ he kicked it in real fast so i've still got switches for this it's fine um i really don't think he is scarf uh garchomp so i'm just gonna go for a close combat right here like i said he threw his ganger like that that quickly in one turn without realizing how important it was uh to the rest of the game because i mean after azumarill has gone uh after azumarill and gengar are gone this thing is a field day like uh and then, you know, there's this too. But if I'm at full HP, I'm pretty sure I can take a non-banded Braver and knock him out with the Stone Edge. So I'm going to try to keep this thing as healthy as possible. Just, just as a little mental note. Um, but Mega Ampharos, this is the reason why it's here. Max HP, max defense. I can take anything this Talonflame wants to throw at me. Shrug it off. Snooze fest up. And then just sleep talk my way out of there. Because it's not going to stay in. Like, I don't know what kind of Talonflame that is. I think I overheard from somebody in the same room that it might have been Sharpbeak to bluff the uh, Choice Band. Which is interesting. You know, I can't knock it for that purpose at all. Um, and I decide to Bolt Switch right here. Because I have little to no reason not to get some solid damage off. And uh, just decide to pivot out into something else. I really wish I still had my Arcanine. Uh, my best option right here is actually going to be, I believe... I was like, I was going to be like, oh yeah, Mega Manetric, and I was like, wait, that was a series before that, and I was like, shit, what do I do here? Um, 
I think I decided to go for Draco Meteor because I actually do want the safe switch into something else. I remember specifically why I went for this and it was to coax him to knock me out so I could get a good switch into something else because going for multiple Dracos uh, was a shitty battle plan but it was my only battle plan and he just decides to Swords Dance and Bullet Punch up here. This is fine because, you know, he's vulnerable to, you know, priority or anything like that. But he's just, he's all about the setup, which with enough setup, you can take out a team. But I just didn't want this Mega Scissor getting out of hand too. So uh, that's what I wanted to switch in. I wanted to go into Mega Ampharos um, and just go for the Volt Switch from there. Knowing that the best he could hit me with was a plus two Bullet Punch. That does nothing. That does like 20%. This thing is beautiful and it's able to take out Mega Scissor. Um, I sacked Latios like that because I didn't want him going for knockoff on Mega Ampharos. I, it wouldn't have knocked off an item or anything like that but it still wouldn't have been damaged and i'm trying to keep the pokes that i have at as fresh hp as possible so that way i can use them so right here i mean mega amphoros it, it's still a switch into it you know the brave the brave bird will not touch the hair it'll just be a little bird flying overhead not doing any damage to me whatsoever it's gonna do like 20 percent again i'm just gonna be able to rest it off on the switch and then sleep talk uh whatever the hell i want to i think he actually ends up either i think he hard switches or he roosts here no he just keeps going for it that's fine um should have been paying attention to your rolls because you are gonna be missing out on another pretty steady chunk not even a crit would have taken me out on that one maybe he was expecting me to oh i really should have rested there i don't know why i didn't i feel like a damn fool for not resting because i would have been able to handle his bishop so truthfully i should have lost this game on the azimuth play and I should have lost it right there. Because uh, I go out into this thing and I think the only thing he has left is his Bisharp. Now, the thing about this is when you overhear knowledge in the room regarding people's sets, um, I, I couldn't really help it. Like, I overheard somebody say, oh, this is a Sash Bisharp. And it's like, well, if this really is a Sash Bisharp, I don't want to lower my defenses with close combat. Um, and close combat is a fairly obvious move. So right there, because I keep my defenses intact, a plus, I'm not sure how much a plus three quote unquote sucker punch would have done because my defense is lowered. Um, if that would have knocked me out, then yeah, you could have said that information was game changing, but it's not something I'm just going to forget about. Uh, that somebody just yelled out that quip of information, but that was valuable information and it did influence what I was going to do in the last turn there. Although for security's sake, I definitely should have rested up with Ampharos there. That could have helped me out because I was max max. Uh, but like I said, I should have lost that game on turn one. Uh, Hax Gods definitely decided to... Uh, I don't know, Iron Jesus was watching me today. So that was a very short game. Definitely should have been way shorter. Uh, round three is a little bit better, I promise, but I'll give that to you guys tomorrow. So anyway, a little bit of a quicker one. If you guys still enjoyed it though, you can leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Uh, just as a quick heads up to everybody, I will not be streaming for a little while, at least uh, the Wi-Fi portion of this, because according to Twitter and what I have read, uh, XY's Wi-Fi is disabled until uh, Omega Ruby comes out to patch it and make it otherwise compatible for trading, battling, things of that sort. So if I do stream, it'll probably be Smash or Showdown. Um, but I do have content backed up uh, for Wi-Fi uploads throughout the rest of the week. So we'll see what I can do from there. Plus, I have Club where I can always take local games. So that is a thing I can always do. Um, that's enough talking out of there. I feel like the update was around half as long as the video itself. Cause it's just a, it was like a 16 turn game, but it was part of the Saturday. So there you go. Anyways, uh, that'll do it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.